Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So by the title of this video, you can understand that today's video is not about English literature. It is about English language. I have a few students of language and they have shared one common problem. And that is that they do not have any occasion to practice English. Other than the class time, they do not have a partner to talk to in English all the time. Now, I think that this is one of the major problems many of you also feel. So, I have compiled a few tips to continue learning English even when you are alone. So, let us begin. Tip number one is to set mini goals. So, how do we set mini goals? See, instead of visualizing that you will be very fluent in English within this amount of time, you can set mini goals like week-wise or month-wise. Like by the end of the week, you will study the, all the verb forms. By the end of the month, you will be able to form sentences which are tense-wise correct. So by setting mini goals, you will be able to have some sense of accomplishments and you will not get frustrated thinking that oh, it is not progressing and you are not learning anything. And it will help you to visualize the future. How is your learning going step by step? The point number two is that you need to have a book. It can be a grammar book, a vocabulary book, or an exam preparation book. If you do not have a teacher, then read the units of the books one by one and go slowly step by step. And if you have a teacher, you can always discuss whatever you have learned from the book with your teacher. The third tip is related to having a book. So it is using the YouTube. So if you do not have a teacher, whatever you have learned from the book, you can always confirm that from a YouTube video. There are many great contents on the YouTube and you can always uh, see all those contents and that will also help you to improve your listening skill. Listening skill is very important while you are learning one language. The fourth tip is that to be able to write example sentences. Suppose you have learned one topic from a book and also from a YouTube video. And then you have to try to write example sentences. Use the grammar, use the vocabulary, write sentences. You do not need to be 100% correct all the time, but you need to get familiar. Familiarity with the language will give you a bit of confidence and that will help you to learn even better. The fifth point is that watch movies, videos with the subtitles on. Subtitles are great things. It will help you to learn new words and also it will help you to see the grammatical structure of the sentence. You can always pause the movie in order to read the subtitles. And reading the subtitles and watching, listening uh, to whatever it is said in the movie at the same time is a very great way to improve English. The sixth point tip is that you have to make a decision whether you are studying with English or you are relaxing with English. Suppose you are watching a film, but if you are watching the film for relaxation, then just watch the film for relaxation. But if you are watching the film for study purpose, then keep on one pen and paper. Write down the new words you will get. Make a decision whether you are watching the film for relaxation or whether you are watching the film for study purpose. So keeping a distinction between these two works will help you not to get frustrated. Tip number seven is related to reading. Same way, you have to make a distinction whether you want to read for relaxation or whether you want to read 
for study purpose make a difference and that will also always help you to improve faster in that way you will be able to avoid all kind of mental frustrations that uh, it is so tedious to uh, write down words and uh, take down notes while you are relaxing so always keep a distinction between the relaxation and the study tip number 8 is to do all the things you like in english suppose you like cooking so watch a recipe where the instructions are in english if you like sports watch sports with english commentary that will always help you to improve your listening skill and also get you some new vocabs related to your field of interest tip number nine is to keep a diary write down everything you do in a day at the end of the day and after that reading all your writing aloud will help you to improve your spoken as well as your written skills suppose if you do every day the same work and meet the same people then challenge yourself write something different like suppose you have seen someone different suppose one of your colleagues has dressed differently maybe you had some roadside pani puri and it tasted different write about them challenge yourself and improve the last tip of today is to learn phrase wise vocabulary you do not want to learn word by word instead mm -hmm. learn phrase by phrase that will help you to learn faster and also it will help you to see the grammatical structure and use of preposition in a better way for an example i can give you take a nap get some coffee get dressed so this is way this these are the popular phrases learn the language phrase by phrase so phrase wise vocabulary is a must for getting more tips, keep an eye on my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.